life is fair because what we're also trying to achieve is how about change the common narrative? And then, yeah, exactly. Change it. We, everybody whines, like you say, mm. we think life is not fair. Mm. And first we're saying life is fair because it's unfair to everyone. Hi, today I'm having a conversation about Engage. I spoke on Engage 13. Yes. I hope. You see, I had to get it right. But you see, I'm with Don Pasiro. He's one half of Engage. The other half is Agatha Juman. She's not here. But I spoke because I got coerced. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I literally, you know, I... I I'm twisted. I, I got... Yeah, but I also, you know, two glasses of red wine later, I said, yes. Yeah, yeah. And then she calls three months later. I'm mm -hmm. like, I did. Yeah, you did. So, but for a person who watches Engage and thinks, I do have a story to tell. I would love to speak. Do you have an email address, a contact, a database? Are you collecting? Because it's not great speakers you're looking for. You're looking for storytellers. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So this is the thing. So we get, we identify speakers in various ways. Mm -hmm. So after every engage, mm -hmm. we, we're still very manual. So we do have a form that you fill in <laughs> as a member of the audience. Oh, really? And sort of tell us how, how was your engage experience? Yes. What did you love? What didn't you love? And uh -huh. would you like to speak? Would you oh. like to recommend anyone to, okay, speak? to speak? And we get about 40% of our speakers through that form. Because the people that engage have experienced it. They know what engage is about. They have benefited from it. They've been influenced by it. So they say, yes, I know Caroline. I know Peter. I know no. Onyango. And okay. I think they'll be great. Here's their number. So what we do, we call the people there. Mm -hmm. And we ask them, hey, you've been recommended to speak. Would you like to speak sometime? Mm -hmm. And then say, yes, we would like. Then say, we'll get back to you when we okay. have a theme. Great. Now, the other way is people can write their emails to agatha at engage.org mm -hmm. or to dawn at engage.org. Mm -hmm. You can get on our website, engage.org, and you can actually indicate that you want to speak. Oh, great. Some people actually even get through to our social media on Facebook. We actually okay, and have, they say, I'd like to. They say, I'd like to speak. What does it take to speak? And we get these emails and we meet them. We meet we attempt to meet every speaker individually, oh. have a conversation with them, ask them, what's your story? Why do you want to speak? Okay. What do you want to do with your speech? Do you want to influence? Do you just want to entertain? Today, yes. Yeah, what do you want to do? What, what narrative do you want to change? What mm -hmm. story, what experience do you want to share and why? Because for us, the why is more important than the what. Because you need to, you can get up there and say, okay, my name is Don, I, I had this difficult background and I got through it, mm -hmm. I'm stronger. So what? Yeah, so what? So what? And why are you sharing that experience? Are you sharing it for yourself? Are you sharing it sort of to inspire others or to influence them to an action? So we ask each prospective speaker, so what do you want to do with your engaged experience? And if we are compelled by it, then say, man, this is a great story. And I think this person can influence other people to uh -huh. an action. Yeah. But how do you come up with the topics? Because I think currently I'm binging on Engage Kisumu. Mm -hmm. I'm binging, I'm still binging on Life is Fair. Yes. And also what's love got to do with it? I'm okay. still, I'm still, because like it's a rab rabbit hole and if you're not careful, you can sit there forever. Forever, yes. Yeah. H how do you come up with the Engage topic? There's interesting things that we want people to talk about. For instance, uh -huh. mothers. Mm -hmm. we, we believe that a lot of people have something they would want to talk about motherhood. Yes. Being a mother, about their mothers, about mm -hmm. their experiences, about mm -hmm. how they were shaped by their mothers. Mm -hmm. So for instance, then we decide, okay, how do we frame the theme okay. about mothers? Okay. Instead of just saying mothers. Mm -hmm. So we think, let's not just have mothers, how about life, love and mothers? Yes. Because we think mothers shape life. Mm -hmm. When you think of our mothers, we think of love. Most people think, what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of your mother? They say, my mother loved me. My mother influenced me. My that mother all did all these things. Yeah. It's very retrospective. So it is retrospective. So then we say, surely we spoke about mothers. We, we cannot leave the old men out. So you must do... So we must do something to do. So, so we do life, love, fathers. Okay. But some are random. Some we just pick... We just speak phrases that we use commonly in life, like been there, done that. Yeah. Yeah. So we sort of think, what well, been there, done that. We wonder what would people share around that? I know. So the interesting thing is it's getting the speaker to tell their story, which yes. and sort of around align it that line. Around uh, yeah, that I line. remember my exercise was yes. also tough yeah. because I had to reach inside a place where I don't normally go. 
And that the reason that is, is because we speak very randomly. If you give people five minutes, in fact, the first thing Kenyan says is five minutes. That's a whole lot of time. Then a guy takes 25. Yeah. Or takes 40. Yes. So the theme helps you to align. So you're like, okay, so Karen, what's the focus of, of, your, of yeah. that story? Mm -hmm. Fine, a lot of this happened, but what's the focus of it? So we say, can you focus it around the theme? Can you narrow it down for the audience so that they can have a conversation just around the being there, done that, or the life is fair? Take life is fair, for example. It is... I love that one. I, I mean, it's, it's without doubt yeah. my favorite engage. Yeah. Awesome. I thought um, Sarah Richardson was on which one? What's love got to do with it? Yes, the one before that. But life is fair. It's just, it was not just the rawness of it. It tells you, yes, because I think we all whine too much. And the yeah. speakers, in spite of what they have and the journey they have walked through, still believe. And I still believe that life is fair. And indeed, life is fair because what we're also trying to achieve is, how about change the common narrative? And then, yeah, exactly. Change it. We, everybody whines, like you say. Mm. We think life is not fair. Mm. And first we're saying life is fair because it's unfair to everyone. And when people get on that stage to show you or to share their experiences, yeah, you sort of get pose and, and perspective. And there you're like, you oh my goodness, I think life is fair. So um, I, I guess in 30 seconds, because I want us to take time mm -hmm. to just, you know, trade back and forth on the other elements of Engage. Mm -hmm. And this is completely um, about attracting those who've never been. They've heard of it, but never been. Why should I come to Engage? Why should I come to Engage 19 and, and make a point of looking out for it and being there? Why? I know why. Yes. But why? So this is the thing. As we go through life, we believe that the central themes that influence us. For us, we believe it's engagement. So if you're the sort of individual who wants to be inspired by people with real experiences, mm -hmm. real. And not contrived. Not contrived, not. Not made for social not media. Not made for social media or, for, or for motivational speaking. There you go. Not made for a workshop. Yes. Not even made for church or for a political platform. There you go. If you want to engage yes. with people with real experiences, mm -hmm who have a sincere need and urge to share it with people so that those other people can learn from it, come, come to, to engage. engage. If you want, yeah. in between those experiences being shared, to sort of listen to amazing music from young talent. Amazing voices. There you go. Yes. Come to, to engage. engage. If you want something that's different from whatever it is that you do, yes. every weekend, yes. every Saturday night, yeah. if you want sort of if you've been hanging around people who don't make you feel intellectual enough. I know. Come to engage. Brain fodder. There you That's go. engaged. That's engaged. See, it's done. So now I can talk about all the other things I love <laughs> and you need to go and make sure that you look out for the next engage. I always post it on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook. So look out for it and be there, all right? Good. Okay. Thank you.